What's up, everybody? Kevin here. So I made this video after The Last of Us Part 2 in which I went into that game, just seeing the trailers going, this game looks like trash, it looks boring, it looks depressing. And I was right. And here we got Ghost of Tsushima, or Ghost of Tsushima, as the devs call it. And right now we're sitting at an 84. I expect it may go up to an 85, 86, could go down to, can go up, can go down. That's, that's Metacritic. Um, but yeah, sitting at an 84 and everything about this game has looked awesome to me. While Last of Us Part 2, sitting at a 94 has like 44 perfect scores, perfect 10s. Ugh, but... This is refreshing. This is what we need to see. We need to see PlayStation 4 games get rated accurately. Now, Nintendo is probably the king of... Oh, shit, it's a Nintendo game. Just throw 10s at it. PlayStation is on that level. I'm sure there's a lot of, you know, perfect scores with this game just because they want to make sure they get their PlayStation 5 early access codes. Um, I mean, that's going to be everywhere, so... But it's sitting at an A4. That's kind of kind of lower than I thought. I thought it'd be, I thought it would actually be like a 90, 91. Just because it looked amazing. But every first game, especially in a new IP, you know, there's going to be hiccups. It's usually the second game that kind of fix everything and give us the the game that we've all been looking for. And then the third game in the title titles always suck, always suck. Besides Fable 3. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But I, I like Fable 3. Ghost of Tsushima, 84. Um, I mean, there's really no agenda, I think. Was there any drama surrounding this game? I don't think so. I think they were talking about how... Historical inaccuracies, but the devs made it clear. Like, yeah, you know, we're, we're making a video game. We're not making... We're not writing a history book here, and we want to make it fun. We want to give you a lot of customizations. It's cool. I mean, there's nothing really bad about this game besides, from what I'm hearing, there's camera issues, little wonkiness with the graphics, but overall, graphics are a huge highlight. Um, GameSpot said there's a lot of MacGuffins with the mission structure and just kind of I don't think they said they call it fetch quest but uh, what else just combat can be a little I guess hit or miss from one review I saw but overall it's a generally good game from what I'm seeing from the reviews and it's just, it's a safe score. There's just nothing you can really do about the score. Um, I, do, I do take issue with people calling this game a masterpiece. While I think Gears 5 is sitting at, I think, the same score in 84 right now. And I feel like people think that game is probably middling. Like, eh. It was, it was good, but not great, not spectacular. And I'm seeing people call this, you know, game of the generation. Which, you know, that's subjective. So, maybe it is. I'm really looking forward to it. And, I don't know, I got not much more to say. I think the user score will come in about the same. I say I'll probably come in about it like an 8.2. And, I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to it. Sucker Punch, now I... Don't like the infamous games. Just really don't like kind of superhero type games. Spider Man was all right. Batman was all right. Um, yeah, well, there you have it. 84. Ghost of Tsushima. I really. It's funny because Last of Us Part 2 sitting at a 94. I think Sony did right by ending the generation with Ghost of Tsushima, despite the meta score. And I think Sony really set themselves up for their whatever state of play in a couple years when they show off Ghost of Tsushima 2. 
People are going to be really excited for it. I'm already really excited for Ghost of Tsushima 2. I still haven't even played this game yet. And I will Thursday night, I think 9 p.m. my time, I'll get to play it. And until then, I'll be playing some Japanese anime waifu shit. Later.